Wonderful greetings to you, saints of God. I greet you in the matchless, beautiful, awesome name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. I pray that you all are well and that you're all growing in the knowledge of our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. This is lockdown day 192. We've only come this far by the grace of God. I bring you the word of the Lord and I pray it is an encouragement to you as we enter a new season. It's a new season of blessing. The word of the Lord declares in Isaiah 43 and verse 18, Do not consider the former things or consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. <clears throat> shall you not know it? I will make a road in the wilderness, a river in the desert. It's your new season. And I pray you tap into that anointing. And believe God to open doors for you. A road in the wilderness. A river in the desert. It's not thinkable. It's not heard of. But God is able to do this. Like in Esther, I pray you receive your breakthrough this month of October. Esther chapter 2 and verse 16. So Esther was taken to the, to the king, King Ahasuerus, into the royal palace on the 10th month in which is the month of the Tibet, which is the seventh year of his reign. Esther 2 and verse 17, Esther was loved by the king more than all the other virgins and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all of them. And God, the Lord God Almighty, blessed her. She received a royal crown and she replaced Queen Vasti. I pray this 10th month, the month of October, you enter into your palace, you receive favor with the kings in the land, and you receive your miracles by the power of the name of Jesus and the power of the blood of Jesus. I pray this 10th month you receive divine favor, supernatural favor, the divine kindness of God. God took the orphan Esther and raised her to replace Queen Vasti, a woman never heard of. And God brought her to before the king. I pray God right now in the name of Jesus, take you to your purpose, your destiny, for you were born for such a time as this. Rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in him. Rejoice. And again, I say rejoice in all your trials, your tribulations, your circumstances, your heartaches, your difficulties. Put on the garments of praise for the spur of heaviness. And come to the house of God like Psalms. David declared in Psalm 122 and verse 1. I will rejoice with those who declared and decreed. Let us come to the house of God. Let us rejoice in the house of the Lord forevermore. I'm Dr. Grace. You have a blessed Sunday morning celebration. In the presence of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. I love you with the love of the Lord. Amen.